So now we know you are actually consider yourself raised from Atlanta in Atlanta. For sure. Now tell me, how has Atlanta shaped your sound and music? Because Atlanta has a classic down south sound. Yep, we do. We do. I mean, it's like it just depends on like music. Well, you talking about musically, right? Like, musically, of course. <clears throat> I mean, musically, like people don't understand like hip hop is like a culture. Mm-hmm. It ain't just like a beat or a flow or like because sometimes they had a misconstrued like they say Atlanta, you know, do do something simple. It's an 808. It's a hi hat, but it ain't really that simple. Everything is a culture. Everything is so. Even some of the New York artists that try to do Atlanta music and because they think it's simple. Um, if they don't really come down here and adapt to the culture, they'll never do it right. We'll know that they're not really like fucking with us like that. So um, yeah, Atlanta has. We're super confident in like our sound like that. It's, super confident. It's funny you say that because one twelve just did an interview on the Breakfast Club and they said that they felt the music now was very simple, like dumbed down, watered down. What do you think about that? Never mind. That's, that's not true. Like, not at all. No, I mean, not to say because I fought with one twelve actually. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I, I spoke to Slim before, Deron. Mm-hmm. Um, they actually reached out to me because I sampled a song on a song I did called Fight That Fuck. And um, they reached out to me and was like, yo, super dope. Yo, we approve it. Um, so this is not no backlash to them. But um, I disagree with the statement because I don't think that it's simple. I mean, I'm sure they've had songwriters before. Mm-hmm. Um, but then other people who have created it like from scratch like that. You know what I'm saying? So, no, nah, I don't think... I don't think music ever been simple, but it always like there's always been songs that were like more simple and catchy, that catch wave. Mm-hmm. Like even back in the day, like they, they can't do that. Like I don't, I disagree with this thing. You know what I'm saying? Outside of rap, who are some artists that uh, you look up to? Outside of rap, um, I always been a huge fan of like Sade, uh, Erica Badu. I fucking kiss her big toe. <laughs> she got that. I Rude. I think I think she's from Dallas. She is from Dallas. I'm from Dallas. Oh, for real? She's definitely from Dallas. Okay, y'all Dallas niggas is funny. What? Uh, We're great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, fuck with y'all. Um, what's what's a dude uh, outside of rap? Uh, singer. A singer? Hmm. I'm used to like Stevie Wonder and like Quincy Jones. Like, all them producing dudes. Like, yeah, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of artists. Who would some of your fans be surprised to say that you listen to that's in your like iPod? Your playlist. Avril Lavigne. Yeah? Give me an Avril Lavigne song. I'm on five. Oh, yeah. I I listen to all that shit, man. All that white people shit. All day. (laughs) All day. All day? Yes. Okay, then what's the first thing you say to yourself when you wake up in the morning? Smile. What's the last thing you think about before you go to bed? Smile. Smile every day? Morning and night? Why you have to say that? Because everybody be trying to tell somebody like what they should do and what they should not do. Um, and I think that's bullshit because everybody's different. Like I hate motherfuckers that's like, like people that's like, oh, they don't eat. You know, like I don't smoke weed, but I don't, I don't dislike it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I hate people that do shit like that. I hate like, if they don't eat pork and then I, I want a goddamn BLT and you looking at my sandwich like it's a cockroach. Like, nah nigga, let me do my shit. Make me happy. You do what the fuck you do. And I like shit like that. Like, I'm super compromised, and I like to really understand why somebody else like to do other stuff. I think happiness is key. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like being, um, I'm single. Like, I'm not, I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I know people in a relationship that's not happy. So it's like, people always try to say shit to me about I've been single for like 10 years or something like that. But I'm happy. I don't have no stress. stress. I don't got to deal with no drama. I ain't had no girlfriend through this whole social media shit. So I don't know about all that. Why she commenting on your shit? I don't deal with that. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it allows so, you to focus too, right? Yeah. No no distractions. Tell us something that we don't know about you. We gotta know something like something weird, something quirky. I don't like, know. I don't know your fans. Like, I feel like we know a lot about you right now. This is the I done told everybody everything kind of. Yeah? Because you're like an open book, though. I'm super open book. Why? Because if you find out, I don't got time for like all that, like, elephant in the room shit. I'm an elephant in the room type of guy. I rather, it's like the old B rabbit effect. Like I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something about me before you tell me something about me. Um, I don't really know. Mm-mm. I don't know. That's it then, man. No, no, no. I had two abortions. I never really said that out loud. You had two abortions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You had two women have abortions for this you. Man is out of no, I love this. This is some real. But on some gangster shit though, like, I didn't how? force her to do it though. 
So they just was like, I ain't having no baby by you. Nah, I just let the female make the decision on their own. This and was this like, recent? <laughs> nah, long time. Like my uh, last girlfriend had a question. Then somebody asked another question. Hmm? That's exclusive. That's real. That is so I transparent. I didn't know what else to say. That's the only thing I never really like back there for me. Yeah. yeah, well, that's that's trans that's very transparent. Have you ever rapped about that? Or put that in your music? Wow, I feel honored. Thank you. I mean, it's not good, but it's honest though. I guess. I mean, you pride yourself on being an open book. Transparent. I got a son. You have a son? Yeah. And two abortions. So I should have a three piece right now. Yes. <laughs> Shit. But then, like, I don't know. Them things couldn't have been, might have not been mine though. Stop it. <laughs> you said your ex girlfriend, you trying to say she was creeping on you? Maybe though. I had a cousin who do that. Really? Yeah, my cousin Rob. My, sorry, Rob. Um, Rob and Julie. I, I love Julie too. But they was uh, married. I think my cousin Destiny was like, damn it, uh, 9, 10, 11, something like that. And then they had a divorce. You know, when you divorce, you, you go to custody yeah. court. So you got to take a test. And it was not his daughter. That what shit. did he do? No, he took a test and Destiny, my cousin, was not my cousin. And then what did he do? I don't know. I haven't really seen Destiny since. God damn. Yeah, that shit, would, that shit made me go, I never just. That's why with my son, I didn't even touch that nigga until I got my results back. Yeah. Wow. And that shit would have came back later. But you, you trying to tell me your son don't look like you? Yeah, he did, but I don't give a fuck. Destiny looked just like my other cousin. That's why we couldn't believe it. I shit don't mean nothing, man. Niggas all look alike with Asian people, man. We all look alike, man. What? <laughs> Niggas come through with big lips, big nose and shit, and this thing we related. I don't know. So, yeah, I get the murder results. You are so not I'm, the father. I'm taking tests. If I get married, my wife gonna be mad as hell. I'm taking tests. Because I done knock hella niggas' holes down. That shit might be. You be like the car car just, yeah, man, it does. I done knock too many niggas' holes down, so I done. That's real. I gotta make sure. So, do you feel like that's gonna come back on you? Nah, I'm, I'm not thinking negative, but I'm taking that test regardless. <laughs> Period. Ain't nobody stopping that. I do that shit without other one day. Say we go to the grocery store, go knock that shit out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead and close it out for me, because you just the realest interview ever. 100. Ah right, yo, we out signing out Love myself. Sorry to kill, we had a free black tour. Houston, Texas, I'm back at Warehouse Live for the third mother time. And we live, man. Fuck with your boy, man. We kept it raw and I'm cutting this motherfucker.